Yes, you know that sound, you know that sound, you know that sound, you know that sound right there. Ah, uh, that is the Ham K Live series. That <laughs> when you hear that sound, you know it's the Ham K Live series. And it's a joy to be here. It's a joy to be here this Sunday, like every Sunday, 7 p.m. East African time. Our time of fresh music and inspiration to jumpstart your week in style. I am out here, one of my retreats, one of my times out of the hustle and bustle of the city to retreat somewhere along the Nile. That's where I am. You see the Nile in the background. I could, <laughs> I could not help inviting you in uh, into this particular location because my goodness, it is awesome. It is refreshing. It is unbelievably beautiful. It's good to experience nature and to experience the environment the way God made it. Oh, or whatever is left of it. It's beautiful. Uh, it's really, really beautiful. And I thought I would come to you from right here by the Nile. And welcome to the Ham K Live Series this Sunday, like every Sunday, 7 p.m. East African time. Our time of fresh music and inspiration to jumpstart your week in style. So tell your friends right now, I'm is live. That's what we're doing, that's what we're doing, that's what we're doing out here on the Nile. And it's a joy, it's a joy to have you join me today for the Hamke Live series. And I hope you have told somebody that this is happening. I hope you've told somebody that this is happening. I am particularly, I mean, refreshed. I'm just feeling so good today. I feel alive. Being in this natural environment just does something to me. I don't know if it's the same with you. Uh, if you get to go to places like this, it's just so refreshing for me. And I cannot say it enough how grateful I am. And being here and seeing all the things that God created and seeing the trees and hearing the birds in the background and the, the roar of the river. Uh, when you get a little bit closer, you'll be able to hear that. I'm not sure if you can hear that from over here, uh, but it's just something else. It's just something else. So I'm grateful to be in the part of the world, the part of Africa, <laughs> where this still exists in its purest state. You, you get what I mean? Before, you know, before we come along and destroy everything and mess up everything in the name of, uh, you know, all the commercial things we like to do in this day and age. But it's good to be here. And I just felt that, I mean, like this season, for some reason, I've been just, just having the same thing coming coming to me, uh, cultivating an attitude of gratitude. That is something I've been feeling very deeply in my heart to share every other time. Actually, last night I was uh, having a conversation with some friends and colleagues and I was sharing the same thing. I was saying, look, uh, we really, really need to be intentional about creating an attitude of gratitude because that keeps us healthier, that gives us a good state of mind, that helps our mental health. Uh, so to speak, but it also pleases God who made us that we are grateful and that we express that gratitude every now and then. Like I said, I am grateful to be here. I'm grateful that the environment is beautiful. I'm grateful that I'm in good health. I'm grateful that I feel refreshed. I'm grateful for so many things out here. And you might be in a place that is not as beautiful as this. You might be going through stuff that is not refreshing, that is in fact depressing. You might be going through stuff that is difficult. But even in that place, do your very best to look around and look a little closer until you find something small, something small that you can be grateful for. Even something as small as waking up in the morning. Be grateful for that. Because you see, gratitude is our gateway. It is our entry point to the presence of God. And I have got this feeling, I have got this impression, I have got this perception that God distances himself from ungrateful people. Every time we are ungrateful, we cannot connect with God. Does the Bible not say, enter his gates with thanksgiving? Enter his gates with thanksgiving and come into his courts with praise. That indicates to me that thanksgiving is in fact the entry point, the access point to the presence of God. Without gratitude, it is difficult for us to access the presence of God. It is difficult for us to access the presence of God and the other things that he has to offer 
in his presence. And you know how the Bible says, in his presence is fullness of joy. And so we curtail our joy by keeping ourselves on the outside because we are ungrateful. A lack of gratitude keeps us on the outside when we could actually be on the inside and in the very presence of God and enjoy the joy that we can find in his presence and the pleasures that we could experience in the presence of God. And so I just felt I should share that with you today, that we will cultivate an attitude of gratitude, an attitude of gratitude, and that will be such a blessing. Otherwise, let everybody know the Ham K Live series is on and I'm getting straight into the music and then I will let you go for the rest of your evening or for the rest of your day if you're on the other side of the globe where it's morning and it will be such a wonderful... I want to sing one of those songs, one of those old songs really uh, that is a personal favorite of mine. I don't even remember who wrote this song. It's not my, my, my own song, uh, but it just blesses me every time and as I was looking around here and seeing the beauty that surrounds me and hearing, I don't know if you can hear the chirping of the birds. Let me try to be real quiet. And the water in the distance is just so refreshing. It's just so refreshing to read. You hear that? So hearing the music from all the birds and the water and, the, and, the, and you know, when the wind blows, you can hear the, the, the leaves and things. Ah, it's just something else. And so I just thought I, I should sing this song and renew my dedication to love the Lord and to worship him all the days of my life. How about we get into the song?
I will worship the Lord all my days. It is he who made such beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff that we see and enjoy and live in and remember in him we live and move and have our being. I hope this has been a blessing to you. Thank you for joining me for the Ham K Live series this Sunday, like every Sunday, 7 p.m. East African time. Our time of fresh music and inspiration to jumpstart your week in style. And I hope you join me again next Sunday. I'll be waiting to see you next Sunday for the Ham K Live series for some fresh music and inspiration. Enjoy the view and enjoy the week. <laughs>